everyone, it's Kylan and today I'm going to be doing my winter clothing and makeup essentials. I'm just going to be talking about some um, kind of makeup things that I need, not need, but love to use for the winter time. And then I'm going to be talking about some clothing essentials as well. So first I'm going to be talking about some face products and I have two face things that I want to talk to you guys about. So the first thing is just this concealer and this concealer has um, made an appearance in a ton of my videos but what you want is a very moisturizing concealer if you have combination skin like me um, if you have oily skin maybe not but um, a nice moisturizing concealer for your under eyes is going to really help because what I find is that in the winter time my under eyes start to get flaky and uh, just very dry and cracked and it's disgusting so to prevent that you want a concealer that's gonna cover it up but at the same time give you some moisture as well so to kind of prevent and cover so this is definitely a concealer that I think does that um, because of the liquid um, texture and formula it's just very it's just gonna be very moisturizing for your under eyes um, it's gonna give medium coverage so a cream concealer is technically one of the ones that's going to give you more full coverage, but um, a lighter, more moisturizing one you could also go for as well. I have a tinted moisturizer, and what you guys might find weird is that I don't usually go for tinted moisturizer um, like in the summer. I tend to lean towards foundation in the summer. In the winter, I tend to go for my tinted moisturizer because it's going to give me more of a healthy glow um, because as you get more into the winter you start to look more dead and pale and all that good stuff so I tend to go for this Tinted Moisturizer which is just a Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Nude I tend to go for it because it's going to give my skin a lot more moisture just like this would than um, a regular foundation then I have some lip products. So red lips are very, very in. So one of the things, one of the red lip colors that I have is this red color. And it's Are You Ready? And it's not even showing up red at all right now. But that's about the color right there. So it's just a very, very fire engine red. It's so, so, so red. But maybe... Yeah, so this um, camera is not doing it justice, but it is just Are You Ready by Maybelline Color Sensational. So this is a great lipstick option if you're wanting a really um, dramatic red. But if you're wanting to go a little bit more subtle, this is one of the Lip Surgeon's Natural Lip Tints that came in the 5 set for the holidays um, from Tarte. And I actually kind of broke this a little bit so the cap is cracked and the sides like dug out but aside from that this is more of a natural looking red so you don't have so much of a red blast on your face it's more of a natural color whereas this one more of an orangey red then I also have another red but I wasn't trying to lean more towards red uh, I was just trying to give you two options of red and then a really really nice lip balm um, because during the winter your lips are going to flake, they're going to dry out, and it's just it's not, it's not going to be good. Unless you take care of them, then you're going to have luscious lips while other people are walking around with their jacked lips in your old face. And you're like, your lip gloss is going to be popping, okay? It is in the color Cherry Me, and it is a Maybelline Baby Lips Lip Balm. So I'll try to get it to focus. And it just says Baby Lips. And um, each one has a fruit in the name, so it has like Peach Kiss, which is what I have. It has like a peach smell. And this is Cherry Me, which has a cherry smell. So basically, it is just a reddish color, and um, it gives a very nice tint to your lips. It's not like really, really opaque at all. Um, basically, it's just like a light, light pink, because um, that is definitely not the color, but um, it's so so moisturizing. I think it beats out Nivea for me. You get a ton of product for like two dollars 
and um, it's so 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 moisturizing a very nice color and um, really nice smell so right, then I have highlighters and if you guys know when it gets into the winter time you're gonna get very um, kind of dull skinned unless you are a really tan person unlike me I'm, I'm just white. I have a couple of highlighter choices for you guys and the first one is the one that I'm actually wearing on my cheekbones nose and cupid's bow and it is what's up and I love the name and the packaging and everything about this so basically um, it just comes off like this and it is a twist up and it is a champagne color so that's basically what it looks like it's very very reflective and I'll try to put it on my skin so you guys can kind of see it's right there so it is an amazing highlighter I just basically draw it on like this and then use my finger. I don't like using the blender because I feel like it absorbs so much of the product that you're putting on your skin. I think this one would work for a lot of different skin colors, so I love this. If you have more of a pale um, pinkish color to your skin, then I would recommend going for High Beam because it's, as you can see, it's more of a pink highlight besides being champagne. And, um... So that's what this one looks like, and I'll go ahead and blend it in. So that's High Beam next to What's Up. It's just more of a um, pinkish toned highlight. Then I have these, my Too Faced Bronzer, or Brightening Bronzer, in Pink Leopard. And basically it has champagne, pink, and dark bronze. So and you just want to have a nice glow. I love this one because it's so versatile. You could just use the champagne, you could just use the pink, and then you could use the bronze for your actual bronzer, but I usually just swallow them together to get this color right here. This is definitely another choice that I would recommend. Now two things I forgot to grab are just a nice bronzer to give your skin a lot of color. The one that I was going to mention was Refined Gold in my MAC, which you guys have seen in a ton of other videos. I'm sure you could click on one somewhere on the side and it would take you to a video where I mention it. Um, like my top 11 of 2011 or um, a lip scrub which is just kind of in general a really nice good lip scrub is great because it's going to exfoliate your lip and then I have a good lotion a good lotion is one of those things that you really need so this is just the Paris Amour body lotion and it smells great it's really moisturizing so just find a lotion that works well for you that you can use for dry patches on your skin or just in general of your skin then fashion items. I've been loving cardigans recently and I'll try to back up so you guys can kind of see what this one looks like. Fashion my midriff. I hate it when people say that. That's um, from Zara and so it just looks like this and it has a bunch of buttons down the sleeve which I think are super duper cute and it's really warm and long sleeved because I have really long arms so having this long of sleeves is really nice for me. Um, so any sweaters and cardigans in general I love. And then scarves. One of my favorite types of scarves are infinity scarves and this one is just a red one because hello red is amazing. And if you are wearing a neutral outfit you could pop this on and look all done up and great. So um, yeah this is just a red infinity scarf from Target. And then leather jackets because leather is um, really heavy. So um, leather jackets are going to be really nice and really warm. So this one's just from Forever 21. And um, it has those type of sleeves, two pockets, and then two more pockets that are zippers up at the top. It's just really, really cool cheetah print, and that's what it looks like. So I love that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you do a video like this, make sure that you leave it as a video response down below because I love finding new people to watch. And, uh, um, yeah, a room tour in my new room will be coming up very soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Love you guys, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. And I'm wondering if I can let this go. Oh, that did not go. Whoa. That's as high as it goes. Are you kidding?